to your craft box for the Sunday Times for August 5th, 2018. This is actually a second part of a uh, focus on the cover story of New York Times Magazine for this week, which is all about an opportunity that we missed to stop climate change 30 years prior we being the U.S. Um, so part of this story uh, is the story of a, a lobbyist named Pomerantz. And one of the really amazing things about this article that I noticed right away when I flipped to the picture of this lobbyist and then highlighted this key early paragraph is that a lot of narrative techniques that make for powerful storytelling are appearing in this long-form scientific journalism. And so I'd like to highlight that today for you. So in this paragraph, fairly early on in part one of the article, it describes Pomerantz, the lobbyist who became passionate about trying to provide an opportunity to stop climate change in this way. He had the tweedy appearance of an undernourished doctoral student emerging at dawn from the stacks. He wore horn-rimmed glasses and a thickish mustache that wilted disapprovingly over the corners of his mouth. Though his defining characteristic was his gratuitous height, six feet four inches, which seemed to embarrass him, he steeped over to accommodate his interlocutors. He had an active face prone to breaking out in wide, even, maniacal grins, but in composure, as when he read the Cole pamphlet, it projected concern. So there's a lot of really wonderful descriptions um, that really give us a sense of the personality and really bring a three-dimensionality to this key figure in this story that's being told, in this story of the human presence behind how we almost stopped climate change but didn't. Um, but one of the things that I really admire about this particular description is how it plays with our attention. So it starts by giving us a kind of overall a snapshot. Tweedy, doctoral student, sleepy, coming from the library. So you get this kind of academic feel but also not very polished, right? Um, so somebody really clever, but not so polished. And then we also get this sense of how he has this power in terms of this height. And we do look to people who are taller for a leadership role, but he's not super comfortable wearing this power and that he kind of stoops over a lot. So each of these details about how he looks is actually designed to give us a sort of personality detail. Kind of academic, not put together, uh, full of power, but not necessarily comfortable with his power. And then at the end here, I'm very impressed with how we zoom in on his face. And we say that he kind of has two faces. One, these crazy grins, but two, this face of concern. Now the face of the concern is actually tied back to the narrative action that's being described, which is how he is in this particular moment, not emerging from the stacks of the library, not um, I did looking, having his mustache over the corners of his mouth, not stooping over to the people he's talking to, not with this crazy grin, all of those things are not descriptions of him in the moment, but are descriptions of him in general that are then tied to this description of him in the moment. And so this movement from this overall general description, um, it even says defining characteristics, um, all the way drilled down to what, but what does that face look like in this moment when he's engaged in this action that is going to be important for the story of climate change. So that movement from overall to specific to the moment that we're in is the very beautiful narrative kind of characterization writing that I think really makes this piece by Nathaniel Rich really shine. 
So that's this week's craft box. Thanks for tuning in.